I mean, are we being ruled by politicians who consult with Baphomets and demons? Yes, we are. Um, the way the world is structured is um, like a compartmentalized pyramid, and it's pyramids within pyramids, uh, like Russian dolls, one doll inside a bigger doll inside a bigger doll. So you'll have a compartmentalized pyramid that is the British government, for instance, where the, the people at the bottom don't know what the top is really uh, going towards, what the agenda really is. Just as in, uh, you know, in a bank, you know, you've got a bank and the people at the bottom of the bank who take the checks over the counter, they don't know what's going on above them and they don't know what's going on above them. And eventually, in all these pyramids, you have a tiny little number of people at the top that are actually the only people that know how the whole game fits together. Everyone else is just playing their part in ignorance. And so what the Illuminati do is they make sure that only their people or those that are not a problem to them um, will reach those levels of power in which decisions have to be made to push this agenda forward. Um, when people say sometimes, well, you see these people everywhere, you see these one and these one other. Now, hold on a second. No, no, they're at these high positions of power. Therefore, because of this process of filtering them out, if you're not one of us, mate, you ain't going to get sponsored by the right people to get these positions of power. And if you slip through the net, there's going to be a scandal or there's going to be something we're going to bring up that is going to bring you down because you're not one of our guys. Um, and so, therefore, the ratio of people who are into these uh, dark, um, uh, satanic rituals, etc., um, two positions of real power in the world are very, very high compared with the general population, where it's nothing like as high, of course. And so um, the question answers itself, in my experience, when people say, do you think the Prime Minister of Britain's involved? And my reply is, is he the Prime Minister of Britain? Yeah, well, he's involved, particularly Britain. Because the reason, uh, you see, that you cannot put a cigarette paper between the British Prime Minister ever and the um, president of the United States, whether Democrat or um, Republican, is because both are answering to exactly the same masters. And uh, Blair and Bush, um, who are gophers, I mean, the real power you don't see. They're, just, if you, they're on public display. They're still at gopher level. Um, they are far more terrified of those in the shadows dictating to them than they are of public reaction to them. Um, because the, the most that public reaction can do is kick them out. It's not the most that the people in the shadows can do. Um, and uh, I was um, talking um, years indeed before Blair came to power that uh, Blair was a chosen one and that he would be brought through and one of his tasks would be uh, to take Britain into the Euro. Um, um, among many other things. And uh, this is why Bush and Blair speak from the same song sheet, because the same people are handing out the song sheets. Uh, so yes, absolutely is involved. And um, so are the British royal family, uh, the, in uh, renders rituals that go on at places like Balmoral. And um, if uh, what really goes on comes out, and it will, uh, people like Bush and Blair and the British royal family will have to reincarnate many times to complete the sentence. I was an FBI agent for 27 and a half years. At the time of my retirement, I was the senior special agent in charge of the FBI Los Angeles Division. I have been qualified in the courts as an expert on cults and satanic ritual abuse. I have information from various sources uh, that uh, judges, law enforcement, prosecutors, attorneys, doctors, and many, many prominent individuals, including actors, actresses, professional football and baseball players, are involved in these type activities. If you go back uh, 225 or 30 years ago, you have what we call the Illuminati that was established uh, in 1776. And the goals of the Illuminati, this is all very well documented, are to take over the world. One of the best ways of taking over the world is to control people's minds. 
and to take over a country through the control of the mines. Uh, so what's happening in America, and based on my research and my interviews with numerous individuals, is that the uh, powers that be, the higher-ups, uh, the people in the Illuminati are using the satanic cults as a means and as a tool to condition individuals and to uh, make them victims of the mind control, MK Ultra mind control program. There's probably close to four million practicing Satanists in the United States alone based on my intelligence information. If the many authors on the subject of the occult are correct, and Tony Blair has been initiated into the 33rd degree, then his pseudo-Christian morals will be compromised by the fact that devil worshippers and high-ranking Freemasons have walked through the corridors of power hand in hand for centuries. The Royal Archmasons describe their highest ranking brothers as Grand Solicitor Generals of the Supreme Grand Chapter. There is a secret word, the name of the true Masonic God, which none are allowed to say in public. This name is Yabulon. The Masonic God is not the same God of the Bible, which the Masons call Adonai. Yabulon has been described by Christian minister Canon Brian Brindley as an unholy compound of the Hebrew name of God, Jehovah, with the heathen names for Baal and Osiris. The highest ranks of Freemasonry utter Yabulon as the one sacred and mysterious name of God. Yabulon is a tripantheon Masonic god, in part deified as the historical Baal, which the Oxford English Dictionary confirms as being a Hebrew word. Baal is the chief male deity of the Phoenician and Canaanite nations. To the tribes of the Old Testament, Baal was the devil himself. Albert Pike is America's most celebrated Freemason. Pike was Grand Commander Sovereign Pontiff of Scottish Rite Freemasonry in the southern and western United States from 1859 to 1891. Scottish Rite Freemasonry has its own headquarters at the 33rd degree in Edinburgh. The United Grand Lodge of England has tried to deny that the true god of masonry is Yabulon, or has anything to do with the devil. But Albert Pike describes Yabulon as a symbol of the infinite and internal Godhead, a mongrel word whose name has been for 2,000 years an appellation of the devil. On the 14th of July, 1889, Albert Pike issued these instructions to 23 Scottish Rite Supreme Councils throughout the world. We worship a God, but it is the God that one adores without superstition. To you, Sovereign Grand Inspectors General, we say this, that you may repeat it to the brethren of the 30th, 31st, and 32nd degrees. The Masonic religion should be the Luciferian doctrine. Lucifer is God. The true and pure philosophical religion is the belief in Lucifer. So, Yabulon is really an alternative name for the devil. The last syllable, On, is a code name for the ancient Egyptian god Osiris, who was the god of the dead. There can be no doubt that the Scottish Rite form of Freemasonry in America and Britain is controlled by high-ranking 33rd degree Masons who worship Satan or Lucifer as their god. We're talking about occultic forces, uh, we're talking about the five-pointed pentagram which was used by satanic worshippers for thousands of years. If you take the five points off of a five-pointed star or a pentagram, you have left in the middle a pentagon. The pentagon is directed toward the North Star because according to the ancient Babylonians, that's where you, you gathered power from the gods of the North in war.